Hi, my name's Jonathan. And I'm Teresa. And we're the Shih Tzu Chef. Where we make delicious, nutritious meals for our fur babies. Babe, Why is it I'm recording. Welcome back to the Shih Tzu Chef. What we're doing today, one of our pups, she has an upset stomach. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make her a nice, bland, easy meal that'll get all of her parts working right again. First thing we're gonna start with is rice. Now, rice, you think that's pretty simple. However, there's more to be said about rice. We're gonna start out with two cups of rice. And what we're gonna do with this, we're not just gonna plop it into the old rice cooker. We gotta wash this. Did you know that for every one quarter cup of cornmeal, now I know that's not rice, but I'm assuming the manufacturing process is pretty similar. But for every one quarter cup of cornmeal, the FDA allows up to one entire insect that's acceptable. Again, wash your rice. Just to get that rice as clean as can be before we start cooking it and put it into our little fur baby's bodies. So one last strain and we're good to go. So we're actually gonna take this rice, we're gonna put it into our rice cooker bowl. When you're cooking rice, there's some people that say one part rice, two cups water. There's a better way. And we're gonna to start to fill up our rice cooker bowl with the water. And then we're gonna use our finger to the first digit. And when it reaches that first digit, and there we go, perfect. That way you know you have enough water to cook your rice. Set her into the rice cooker, hit the button. We're gonna let that cook, and while that cooks, we're gonna start on our next step. Next, we're gonna be doing the sweet potatoes. Because sweet potatoes have a lot of fiber. Now, I don't like to add too much sweet potato, but it's really good to help make everything operate correctly within the little girl. So first, we're gonna start out by getting the old plastic bag. And we're gonna put that right on our table here. Then we're gonna take out our first sweet potato. And we're gonna skin it and we're gonna just put it right, all the shavings right here into this bag. This is a lot easier than putting them down the garbage disposal and making that mistake. Been there, done that. And once you're done peeling, you just take your little bag that everybody has 800 million of, you just twist her on up, throw in the trash. Just like that. And we're just gonna chop these up into smaller pieces. And that's just so that the food processor doesn't have to work so hard to chop them up. Now, all we gotta do is turn it on. Once that's done chopping, we're gonna take our chopped sweet potatoes. And while the rice finishes cooking, we'll just set these in the fridge. And now, on to our last ingredient, defrosted chicken breast. So, now, there's quite a bit in here, but uh, what I'm gonna do is we're actually just going to boil this chicken breast. One of the reasons we don't wanna fry the meat is because she already has an upset stomach and any oil can irritate that stomach even further. So we're gonna boil this, that way we're removing as much fat as possible. Now. One of the keys to boiling this is, and I've got three large chicken breasts in here. One of the keys to boiling this chicken is make sure the chicken is fully covered with water. When you put it on the, the heat, bring it to a boil, cover, let it simmer for about 12 minutes or until the internal temperature of the chicken has reached at least 165 degrees. That way you know it's cooked. So the meat has been cooking for about 12 minutes in boiling water. 
and now we're gonna get ready to check it. Now we'll get out our Meat Sticker 3000. Let's see what that says. Well, we've reached about 160 degrees. So it looks like we're gonna need to turn it up just a hair. All right, now that our chicken has cooled a little bit, let's get to chopping. And I like to make these pieces bite size because we do have two Shih Tzus. Shih Tzus. Doesn't have to be perfect. Based on how we're looking here, it looks like we're gonna do two chicken breasts today in this batch. Looks like there's a little tendon in there. We'll get rid of, oh, there's a bone. I ordered boneless chicken breasts. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get those sweet potatoes that we chopped earlier out of the fridge and we're just gonna go ahead and dump those in here. So we're gonna go in for the rice. And now remember, we used two cups of uncooked rice. But when you cook it up and it absorbs that water, you wanna put two cups of rice in with this meal. And a little bit more is okay. So once that's all in there, go ahead and close your rice because I'll be eating that later. Now that we've got our rice, sweet potatoes, chopped and our diced chicken in our mixing bowl. We're gonna go ahead and add the old vitamins that the girls need. We're gonna start out with some flax seed. So there's one teaspoon, two teaspoon, three teaspoon. And the next thing we're gonna add is calcium powder. Now, you can make this yourself uh, just use your eggshells, wash them, dry them, then put them in your coffee grinder or AKA magic bullet and grind them down to a fine powder. Or you can actually get this at the store. Just look for calcium carbonate in a jar powder form. We're gonna go ahead and add three tablespoons as well. And now that we've got all the ingredients that we're gonna be using for this meal to tend to our little girl's upset tummy, we're gonna go ahead and mix all this together. We're gonna to package it so that we have some in the refrigerator for today, tomorrow morning. We're also gonna package some that we can put in the freezer and defrost at a later date. So what you're gonna need are just some regular Ziploc bags. Now, I like to use the one quart Reason is it allows me more flexibility when planning meals for the girls. But what I do is I just take my measuring cup, my one cup, and I scoop in one cup of food, and then I add another. And what that does is it gives me a day, day and a half. And now I place it on the table and I roll it back up on itself and seal the bag. Now, that'll keep most of the air out of it and it allows me to freeze that or put it in the refrigerator for later use. It'll probably stay good for about four to six months in the freezer, but in the refrigerator, probably three to five days. Consult your veterinarian before attempting to feed your dog any kind of homemade diet. And there you have it, a meal that's ready easy to go, good for their upset stomachs, and it'll make them much happier girls. Shih Tzu Chef, signing out.